This is gonna be like the most boring makeup tutorial of all time, and I am sorry. <laughs> this is gonna be on the internet. Ah! Hello everyone, and welcome to day 11, 12 of Vlogmas? I don't know what day it is. Anyway, so today I thought I'd do a makeup tutorial because I've been asked to do that a lot, mostly by my coworker Katie. So Katie, this one's for you. Um, yeah. As you can see, I'm very broken out. So this is gonna be really fun for me. <laughs> for everyone to see how icky my skin is and how different it can look, you know, over a camera once you put a bunch of crap on it and you can't actually see it in real life. So, I'm gonna show you how to do sort of like my favorite makeup look that's basically just a bunch of purple on your face. So, I've already prepped my skin. So I exfoliated, which I recommend only doing a couple times a week depending on how sensitive your skin is. Because if you over exfoliate, you can actually completely like screw everything up. So I use this, this Biore Pore and Clogging Scrub. Um, I don't know, because it works. I'm not brand loyal, so whatever. So then what I do is I put this on my face which yes, that is SPF 110 face sunscreen lotion uh, because you see this, I need as much help as I can get uh, to prevent myself from getting skin cancer on my face. And then after that I used this NYX Shine Killer Primer because my skin is really, really greasy and so I need as much help as I can get. So the first thing that I do when I'm going to do a heavy eye makeup look is I actually do my eyebrows because I think it makes it work out the best. So I'm going to be using this Tame and Frame stuff by NYX in the color black because my eyebrows are basically black. I already, I shaped my eyebrows like right before this because they were getting kind of wild. So that's the thing. And, and then I just go underneath my eyebrow in short little strokes to define where it's supposed to be and then I go above it the same way come down the other side like that. and then I use the broad side of the brush to just fill it in and then I'll sort of pull it out into the middle a little bit I've been working lately on having less boxy eyebrows because apparently that's like not cool anymore Something like that. They look more even on camera than they look in real life, but you know, we get over it. So then what I like to do with my eyebrows is I like to put some powder in them, because I don't know how well you can tell on the screen, but if you just put a gel or a pomade in them and not a powder, then they can kind of look fake and painted on. So I'm using this Ipsy NYX collab stuff in the darkest shade. I don't know, I don't think you can buy this. It came in an Ipsy bag a long time ago. And so I just use this brush and just sweep it in real quick. It also makes the black look more natural and less severe, I think. Yeah, like that. There we go. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move on to my eyeshadow. So to start I use the NARS uh, Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base, which has such a long name for such a simple thing. And so you just want to do, do, you make some real cute faces in this video. I don't use a brush for this, because I just don't see the need. I know that some people do, some people think that's important to like never let your finger touch your face, but I'm not one of those people. So there you go, look at how much difference it made. It didn't. So now we're going to start with the color, which is the most fun part. So I'm going to use this Lorac Pro, Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. Um, I think it was a special edition, I don't know if you can still get it, but I love it. 
it looks like that. So I'm gonna start with the shade Dusty Moth, which is kind of like a pinkish purple. And I'm just gonna take that and go basically all over my eyelid and then blend it up a little bit. Not quite all the way to my eyebrow, but pretty close and then decently far out. Okay, and then what I like to do with all of the colors that I use on my eyelids is I like to just take the edge of the brush and just sweep it underneath my eyelid also just to add a little bit of dimension. And so like my base color, I'll put the whole way. And then you'll see as I keep building, I just kind of stay further out. So then the next color I'm gonna use is Violet Gray, which is right next to Dusty Moth because, you know, clump the purples together. I'm like not funny while I'm doing my makeup. Not that I'm ever funny, but you know. So then the next color I'm gonna use is Eggplant, which is right next to Dusty Moth and Violet Gray, because efficiency. And I'm gonna kinda just tap this into the outer crease of my eyelid. So now that you look like you've been punched in the face a couple times, uh, it's time to do other stuff. I'm gonna take this fluffy blending brush and just like go to town up in here. Beautiful mess. So the next thing is I've got my already wet down beauty blender. It's just gonna hopefully stay there. And then I've got this CoverGirl Clean Matte. Um, foundation in the shade 505 which is like the literal palest that you can get in any drugstore brand foundation actually especially the full coverage ones and this is not orange either which is really nice because it's a cool tone so then what you do with that is you just whoa hopefully don't dump the entire thing onto the back of your hand like i just did um so you do that and then i blow it like that so that it warms up on your skin a little bit and then what I like to do is just kind of dot it on my face in places because if you're using a beauty blender this makes it a lot easier to like move around good 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 Okay, yeah, that's probably enough. So then you just take your beauty blender, and I like to start in the middle of my face, and you just start tapping. And if it looks rough and patchy, you know what, that's okay. Cause we're not actually going anywhere tonight, cause it's like probably about 10 p.m. by now. And yeah, it's a Tuesday. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just making this video for the internet. Nobody's actually going to see me close up, so if I look kind of goopy, it doesn't actually matter. Life is good, fam. And I always make sure I carry it onto my ears and then down on my, onto my neck so that you don't get a weird line because weird lines happen. And also get the bottom of your nose, because again, weird lines. Like you don't want your nostrils to be a different color than the rest of your face. Unless, you know, that's like the specific look you're going for. Which, you know, if it is, no judgment. I am all in support of artistry in makeup. Do whatever you want. Reverse contour your face. I don't care. Okay. Okay. 
So at this point, if I felt like there were any spaces that needed more foundation, I would just put it on there. I've still got a little bit left on my hand, so I'm gonna go wipe that up and go further down on my neck, but it doesn't super matter at this point. Um, yeah. And if you were gonna contour, now would be the time where you would contour. Um, but I don't contour because I'm too pale for that and it scares me, so I just avoid. I contour a little bit with blush, which I'll show you, but whatever. So the next thing that I do is I set with powder. So I use this uh, Palladio Rice Powder in the shade Translucent because <laughs> I'm translucent. It's great. And you just kind of tap that all over your skin and it makes you look a little bit less waxy since you put all that liquid foundation on and you look sort of like a zombie. Slightly less zombie looking, but you still look pasty and weird. So, your next step is blush, which I think is the most underrated makeup. Sweep it on here, and then I kind of contour with blush because I'm so pale, so I sort of take it out to the side of my face and then under my jawline. And then up onto my temples a little bit. So the next thing is highlighter, which is the thing that I have learned how to do the most recently and that I'm probably not actually particularly good at. So this is the Kylie Jenner highlighter in the shade Cotton Candy. So on me, because my face is really round, this is how I apply my highlighter. But depending on your face shape, there are different ways to do it. You can look up diagrams on the internet, it's not that hard, but this is what I do. And then I also, you're not really supposed to do this, but I have like a three head instead of a four head. So I always put a little bit of highlighter on my temples, just to make it look like maybe I actually am the owner of a four head. So then I'll also take it and swirl it and just tap it into the corner of my eyes. And then on my brow bone, like that. I don't know how well you can see it. The next part is my signature thing, which is my eyeliner. And this is the Kat Von D ink liner um, in the shade Trooper. My mother and I went through the entirety of Sephora and figured out via the scientific method which eyeliner was the best in terms of opacity, uh, control of like the point based off of the shape that it is. Yeah, I'm doing that hand thing that beauty bloggers do. And um, staying powder and staying powder. Staying power. <laughs> it's so late. And this was the one that came out on top. I start at the corner of my eye and draw out. Ooh, that came out longer than I wanted to go. It's fine, we will move on. And then I just start drawing it in. And because my eyes are really small and really round, I don't draw my eyeliner all the way into the middle unless I'm wearing fake eyelashes, which I thought about doing for this video, but then I was like, you know what? I don't wanna put on fake eyelashes tonight, so I'm not going to. And you're just gonna have to deal with that. So there's one eye done. I'm a firm believer that you should never worry too much about your eyelids looking the same. Because honestly, the only person that notices that is you. Yeah, it's good enough. So at this point, you just curl your eyelashes. The mascara I use is... Full Lash Bloom by CoverGirl, because honestly, I think that CoverGirl's mascaras are really good. And they're cheap, and it's great. So 
So my next step here is going to be to line my lips. So I'm using NYX Suede Lip Liner Pencil in the shade... Oh, put it on. Anyway. And now I have really like asymmetrical lips. So I try to kind of fix it as much as I can with eye, eye pencil, with lip pencil. But some of my problems you can't really fix. Like if one corner of your mouth goes up and the other corner of your mouth goes down like mine. I think you're just screwed. So sorry if that's your problem too because we all in this together. The thumbnail that YouTube picks for this video is gonna be glorious, I can just tell. So then I've got my matte NYX lipstick in the shade Dark Era. And just throw that on there. Ta -da. This stuff, this NYX matte setting spray, it's A plus, so you just like, you know, do things, you face and just yeah, it's like and if you get it in your mouth it tastes bad so try not to do that so there you go you're done and now you can go out on the town and steal somebody's boyfriend and do all sorts of ridiculous things thanks for bearing with me um okay this one's for you man hope you enjoyed uh, have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow.